Hello everyone, today I would like to simulate effect of Reynolds number ray by cylindrical surface. In case A, ray number is less than 5, this is a creeping flow, no separation. In case B, ray is between 5 and 40, stable forces is in the middle. Case C is laminar vortex street, Kerman vortex. When ray is large at 200, then come fist separations turbulence arises. At higher ray will be boundary layer transition to turbulent, case E. Formula for ray on a cylinder is flow velocity multiplies cylindric diameter on divided kinematic viscosity. Is example for simulation, airflow on cylinder wide a diameter of 20 mm. For case A, is the flow velocity 1 mm per second. In case C is 200 and D is 10,000. Ok, to case A. And free cut, we create a new model. Go to sketch modus. And to first create a new sketch. cylinder with diameter 20 millimeter and IR volume five hundred millimeter on 300 mm uh, cylinder in the middle So the sketch is finished. So go in part models. And extrude my sketch to volume. Create solid. OK. So geometry is complete and I can go to the CFD of create analysis. I use transient model for all simulation uh, because for example for uh, laminar flow is enough a steady analysis, but I use uh, for all cases transient and with turbulence. Turbulence is active. Fluid is air, is in, in, in the library. So potential flow for velocity and pressure. So after this, I can define my boundaries. Velocity of 1, 1 millimeter per second, case A.
opposite surface is outlet. So another surface is in the slipping, slipping surfaces. And uh, to last, I defined my cylinder. I rename it to cylinder. So my boundary condition is finished. And I create a mesh. Base, base element sides. Four millimeter. And I need a refine, refinement in area of my uh, cylinder. I refined it uh, to 0 0.2. mesh cases after run measure so mesh is complete so you can see is local refinement of mesh Okay, now I can start. Simulation of case A. But uh, to first I save, I save my model. and run first simulation. So it is finished. I go to the post-processing. You can see velocity magnitude is not spectacular, no turbulence, it, it, it is stationary state. So you can see streamline. Okay. 
Okay, to case C. So first, I increase velocity to 200 mm per second. I change end time. and run the solver again. So open the result. And you can see it is more action in the flow. So I start animation. And uh, you can see, you can see Carmen Vortex Street in flow. Streamline. Additional is interesting to look the vorticity. For this you need a filter, gradient. And compute vorticity. Apply. So coloring of vorticity. And change the range from zero to five G. I change column up to rainbow, rainbow. And start animation of vorticity. This situation here is a similar to case B.
So this video is finished. We now have cases A, B, C. In the next video I simulate case D, increase the velocity to 10,000. It, it becomes turbulent. And in case D I would like to compare two turbulence models. It's Reynolds Average at Never Stocks and Detached Eddy Simulation Turbulence Model. See you next time. Bye bye.